we design marine structures, coastal structures, so we need to understand the, the local conditions. And there are very few measurements and historical measurements, long-term measurements, 99% of the time, not at the location that you have your project. So to complement that, you need to use numerical modeling to try to represent your conditions, your waves, your currents, your water levels, etc. Numerical models are computational models, so it's basically a set of equations that it's decomposed so it can represent your physical processes. A good example is a, a wave generation and a wave propagation. So it, the, the physics are described by equations and then the model solves those time steps, all the domain cells, and at the end you get your wave conditions from your offshore area to your near shore area. You have to do it, there's really no alternative if, if, because the, you cannot install a measurement device to measure your, let's say, go back to wave conditions at your project areas because you need to develop your project within six months. So if you, even if you measure six months of data, it's not enough. You design your structures for a storm event that has a return period of 100 years, let's say. You need to collect a lot of data to, to estimate those, those conditions. So, so the models are very useful tools in our work.